Within the residential market, not yet. Uh, we just saw the introduction of uh, German players within the Dutch market, uh, residential market. Within the office market, yeah, you can find some non-performing uh, investments, and then there's an opportunity for them. But the Dutch uh, residential is quite good performing uh, as a portfolio most of the time. And the transformation, yeah, you need to be in mixed areas. And the Dutch government has created all kind of sub-areas for offices, for uh, logistics. So transformation of uh, office buildings to residential is not the most logic, uh, logical uh, transformation because yeah, the, the number of buildings would fit in the profile within activity of a mixed area is quite small. So this is, so if I've got this right, this is a, a specific planning issue within the Netherlands where you've got areas that are for office, areas that are for other, and less, less of them are for mixed use, which makes it more difficult then. Yeah. It's, I agree with, uh, with Jorn, it's, it's all about having the negotiations with the municipalities and the developers and the current owners if you can make an investment case. Because in the end, the only reason why we do these type of things is to create a adequate return for our clients. That's what we do. So that's still you know, the main requirement. Okay. It's nice to convert a building, but it has to pay off. But it's, it's only one part of the discussion, that you're, you're, of the thought process that you're looking at in terms of the overall returns from an investment product. Yeah.